Like, like <laughs> just give me one crop, baby. <laughs> but of course, if you're enjoying all the action here on Wednesday Night Fights, be sure to check out Level Up Stream as well, because I believe they have a Dead or Alive going on right now. Yeah, they have DOA. That's that's not what I expected, but you know what? This game's still really sick. Mm -hmm. We're going into the other side of Winner Semis. Nico versus Tater, and yo, no, Krom. We got Krom. Let's I go. I never would have expected this. <laughs> Nico does have a Krom. He wants he wants made it all the way to Grange with at a hat just going Krom, and he didn't switch to oh, Shulk until. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh God! Man. I've seen so many reversals like that. It's, they're so scary. It's honestly just maddening. Maddening or. One of the most hyped things in uh, Smash Bros. Yeah, you're right. Probably one of the most hyped. Quick Cannonball, get away. He's oh, he, not dead. He, no, he's, he's still living, but oh, I thought Tater he, he had to take that hit because he didn't have an air dodge. He used his air dodge to stop his momentum. Yeah, I thought Tater was going to get another edge guard there, but jab back air, almost killing. Using the clown card, stalling in the air, but he's holding shield. Good start, uh, smart stuff from Nico because uh, Tater is really cheeky when it comes to throwing out the, the wand. Mm -hmm. Just the timing of when he's going to throw it out. Tater Nader's just so tricky with Bowser Jr. You're like, okay, I know he's going to do this. He doesn't have any other options. And Tater's like, well, what if I do? I like these nares into back air. Oh, my God. Just the oppression at the side of the stage. What? What is this crom play? Why is he playing Shulk? <laughs> different sortie, bro. Yeah, it is a different sortie. I want, I'm going to ask Nico uh, a little bit later just what matchups he would go crom for. Because this crom is looking so good. I mean... Uh, Shulk, also a very good character. Great, yeah, fantastic character. Right now, another jab back is going to secure him out that stock at a two stock lead. You see the up air screens bending the second jump, but it will result in the getting back to the ground. I like that. Throwing out the forward air, using it as for offensive recovery, making sure that Nico is not up near the ledge, allowing Terminator to recover. Oh, I thought he was, he was definitely trying to yoink him right there. Uh, Tater looking at a, looking like he's about to get three stocked. A quick back throw, not gonna be at it yet. But Tater's gonna eat one of these edge guards. And using the armor on the upbeat to actually just nullify the explosion of the Mega Kubo. Oh, great recover! What? That? Okay, yeah. Uh, the quick look at tongue coming out. Down tilt gonna take it. Still staring down two whole stocks he needs to take. He's gonna have to get a really good edge guard. Yeah. Nico going for a down air out of shield. Ooh, parry, but he just no parried it. Parry. He just parried it to show he could. Yeah, he, he actually like parried and then stood there and looked at him. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he parried. He thought about what he could do, and he's like, you know what? I don't think I can do anything else. And sometimes that's what you gotta do with it. Wait, wait. Okay. All right. You know what? Taylor just want to go to game two. He's like, this isn't gonna work out. Let's just stop the momentum here. Let him think that he bodied me. Go to game two. <laughs> okay. Well. Question is, will Nico stick with Shulk or go Krom again? I think he, I think I mean, he's gonna stay Krom until he wins. Personally, I haven't seen, I have not seen enough of Nico's Krom. I would love to see more Krom. Yeah, all about that fire emblem action. Oh, he switched up, and yeah, I mean, yeah, his Krom, it slaps. It was very good. Definitely a good show. Yeah, very enjoyable. But you know what? Switching back to. To show, you can play whatever you want. No, not the Peach. Yo, he took Rouser game three in the Peach Ditto. Yeah. I mean, I think he was picking up Peach specifically for the Ditto. Mm -hmm. Because uh, from what I heard, he was practicing um, the Ditto a lot with another Peach player as well. Actually, look, yeah, I, I do think that Bowser Jr. doesn't do well against Peach. But you know what? That's not on the screen. He's going to Peach. And I agree with it. Tater Nader what, is one of those technical characters. If you watch his hands while he's doing Bowser Jr. things, he's. It, it looks like he's playing melee. He's moving so fast. So he's a character that once you have those clean inputs and executions, you can get so much. And I like what he's going for here. He's using the the Pete stall to actually not only wait out Smash Manano, but mix up his recovery. But not going to be know, able to mix still it up. Still not being able to play the game. Yeah, back air is really strong, and uh, unfortunately for Tater Nader, he's kind of stuck with the recovery that he had. Mm -hmm. He, he, he tried his hardest, but Nico just didn't miss. And even right there, like, Nico had Buster Mode. He's taking full advantage of it, uh, putting a lot of damage on Tater's shield, just forcing Tater to actually play a little defensive and staying in the air while uh, waiting for Buster to move out. Right now, Tater, he, it doesn't look like he's doing too many, like, actual Peach things. He's not doing, like, those 
float cancels. He's just kind of retreating, throwing out these fairies, pulling I mean, out turnips. He doesn't have an opportunity to. Yeah, you're right. He tries to go for the up smash there. Okay, it's Speed Shulk too fast. Speed Shulk definitely in his face, but now he has Smash Shulk. A little bit scarier because now most of those kill options, or die. most of those options that wouldn't kill, will kill. But Toad uh, against the Smash back air? Mm -hmm. So strong. I don't remember how it was explained to me, but I know that Toad will do the same damage no matter what and the same amount of knockback. So, well, back throw. Okay, well, Tater's each on uh, the last stock for game two. Forward air into dash attack, going for the easy damage, and now Buster mode, feeling really confident. Honestly, I feel like Taternator's Peach isn't is is pretty decent. Like he can play and do all the Peach things, but he's just not getting a chance to. He's not getting a chance to show off what he can do. He's like, come on, man, I'm trying to I'm trying to show stream what I can do. And Nico's like, you know what? Can't believe that. That doesn't sound like a me problem. That still works. You falling can still up do air. falling up air to up air. I mean, in jump mode, in jump mode. I mean, yeah, it is hard to get that falling up air to just completely vertical like this. But yeah, yeah, you're you're definitely right. Still in the game. Why not? So uh, Nico going up 2-0. Well. Honestly, I'd like to see him stay with the Peach again. And I don't know. It, it feels like he needs to try to oppress Nico before he gets a chance. Really? Because I feel like he would actually be able to approach with uh, Wendy at least. Yeah, I mean, he could right. still be able to use the clan card. Still has armor, so even if he does take a hit, he's still going to at least be moving forward. Honestly, I just want to see the Peach because I like Peach. Oh, okay. Well, it's honestly just the bias, but you know. Well, at least that makes sense. If you're honest, Toasty. Yeah. That's, that's what matters. Okay, but we do see the Wendy come out. Now let's see what Tater is going to do to uh, sort of get around the wall that Nico has been putting up. Oh, actually, just nearing through the Koopa card. I thought, or the Mecha Koopa. I thought that was going to explode and hit him, but wow, great trade. That's right. Using the backslash. I mean, you are able to grab the ledge out of the backslash now, so. Uh, you can see what Nico was going for, but maybe just a little bit too telegraphed. Mm, Nico does like to go for that a lot, and that was the, that was the perfect option for a Taternator. Especially in the position that he was in. Now he's just up a full stock. Okay, couple up airs into a back air. Going for it again. Actually waiting for the air dodge too, but not going to get it. Yeah, he, Nico did pull the trigger on the air dodge, but it just looked like Tater wasn't in the correct position to to use the wand. Approaching with the clown car again. Now the Mega Koopa applying a lot of pressure. He's kind of following Nico around. All right, it, it, it looks like Kaydenator is turned on now. Like he he figured something out. He He's finally getting to play. And Smash mode is on. I right know, he just needs to wait out the Smash mode. That's the only way he's gonna die is early. And now we see shield mode look like Shield mode doesn't exactly help me out a little too much. It does prevent you from getting those uh, those up air strings, but we just saw Tatanator immediately go for the, oh wow, really close, just go for the down airs right there. Yeah, he went for the down airs, and then after that, he did an up throw, which because of just like the reduced knockback with shield, it just put him like back in neutral on the platform. <laughs> okay, speed mode is on. But now Nico does have a lot of work to do in game four. Wow. That was angle down forward smash. That was a complete reverse from the last two games. Yeah, Tanner finally figuring something out, what he needed to do, and it is, he, he, he's looking like he's here to play now. Those first two games, you didn't really see Tanner do anything, but now. I mean, the Shulk was, may have just been like such a, a pick that, that Tater wasn't ready for. Mm -hmm. Or I'm sorry, the Krom was a yeah. pick that he may not have been expecting or just like wasn't ready for it. And we saw how dominant it was and then switched up the, the play a little bit with the peak. But of course, you know, you always got to go with your try and true. Yeah. And honestly, if Tater Nader does lose this uh, or win this next game, I wouldn't be surprised if Nico goes back to the Krom. He kind of destroyed him with, with the Krom there. And even though it was like, a, oh, he asked me to do it, so I'll do it. If it works, it works. Yeah. Especially with uh, Nico, I mean, he's going to um, Collision this weekend. He's definitely trying to get all the practice he can. Where, where's Collision at again? Uh, I believe it's in New York. Yeah, okay. I, I did see the, a bit of advertising for it. Should be a hype event. Oh, taking his jump too, but gonna recover still. 
using the clown card to get away from the legs. Still gets caught up in the grab with uh, the recovery back, but it's F uh, forward air during smash mode. So scary. I'm so, uh, I'm so surprised it didn't hit. Right now, Tater Nader going as low as possible because he knows if one of those up -ease hits, he's going to be dead. F smash, not going to take it to Shaq. Drop town, oh, offensive up air. Even so low, Tater knows that she, uh, Nico is really comfortable just going deep with these uh, these aerials. Finding the vision, trying to throw him into the mecha coop. Uh, not gonna hit you, yet. Right, waiting out the air dodge. But I think because Shield Mode was online, he just kind of stayed in neutral. Well, I love how low Tater Nader is going just to avoid the smash art, but you know. He had an idea to try to trick him into going to the other side, but he, he Nico scouted that out so quickly. Wait, why did that, that went off and got him? Yeah, it fell. Okay, well, I guess it knocked him away far enough so that you know, he wouldn't be able to recover. Yeah, that was a really, I don't know if that's like a consistent thing that'll happen, but that was really cool coming in from Tater. Yeah, that's something I haven't seen before, so. Tater's still showing that he's got tricks. Here. Into air slash. Ooh, even delayed the second hit. I think he, I think he wanted to cancel the uh, the air slash so he can get a regular up E, which probably would have killed if we're gonna be honest. Okay, maybe that smash doesn't work for Kaniko not connecting. Ooh, that's a that's a setup that we don't see too often anymore. He's using the the explosion of the cart at the ledge, going for it again. Yeah, it's looking like it's catching so many options. I don't know I don't know what option will really get around it. Maybe. I don't. I don't think anything will. I think you might just have to wait that out, or just do a really uh, well-timed get up. Okay, air slash again. And he, you even saw him. He tried to spin out right there, maybe to try to untackle stage spike Nico, but that up be just you know, took care of all his problems for him. All right, connecting it forward air. He goes for that F smash. All right, macro during bus mode. It's gonna be a good amount of damage. You can see Tatonator fighting for his winner side life. But he still needs to take off the stock right now. You know what we haven't seen him doing? He's not trying to just run up and jab a lot. Because on Smash Hill, the blast zones are really slow on the side. But you know what up here is going to take it. I mean, he's been really comfortable with those clown cart approaches. And with the way that Nico has been throwing out uh, Nair and forward air, just the way he's been using him, uh, he needs that armor just to just kind of barrel through it. Now we have a... Uh, Taternator on his last stock in Smash, uh, just barely running out. I like how Taternator, who's just not trying to challenge it, he's just stalling out as much as possible so he don't have to deal with it. And Nico's not really going to go off stage to try to get that. He just had to stay on stage. And an s will take it 3-1 for Nico. Mm -hmm. So Nico advancing to winner's finals. Congratulations to him. So, yeah. I mean, Taternator's not out of the tournament just yet. You know, now he's advancing to uh, loser quarters. Loser's quarters. That's right. So. If uh, you're a fan of all this tournament action, uh, you don't, you're not doing anything this weekend, don't forget to tune in to uh, 2G Gaming this weekend. Of course, we're going to be at the, the, what is it, the Sakura Festival?